Hey, what's up, y'all? I am your girl Candy, and to my left, I have Philip Johnson Richardson, and he's about to speak on it. So, this is our Tin Man, everybody. When I tell you he kills it, I don't know if I told you yet, but you are my son's favorite character. I think you told me in Baltimore, yeah. Yes! <laughs> um, I brought my um, son Ace and my little one Blaze, my little girl Blaze, to the show. I think they saw it three times. Wow. And the crazy thing is, uh, she's three, he's seven. And I didn't know if they were going to be able to sit through it. Right. But they watched it full out three times and they loved it. Good but... I think it's you when you kill it's the, the dance. It's the dance, it's man. Yeah, hey. yeah. Do you be doing the dance moves? <laughs> um, yeah. Ace was like, I like the Tin Man. The oh. Tin Man is so good. I appreciate you. I appreciate him too. I've asked everybody the same question: If you had to play a different character than the one you're playing, Scarecrow. It would be the scarecrow. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> you answered that quick. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. When you auditioned, did you always audition for the Tin Man, or did you audition? For always audition for the Tin Man. Um, I talked to my manager. I was like, "Hey, like, oh, she, they, she was like, they want to bring you for the Wiz." I was like, "For who?" She was like, "The Tin Man, man. Come on, you know." And I was like, "Oh yeah, for sure." I just wanted to make sure. But um, how did you know that it was like they said, "Come on," like you, like how could you know? Well, I mean, like I, I had asked about the audition or whatever back in the day, back in like December of last year, mm -hmm. and she like you know updated me in this in this year and was like, "Hey, they want you to come in on audition." And I was like, "For which role?" Mm -hmm. And she said, Tin Man." And I was like, "All right, for sure, I'll take it," because I feel like. You, the Tin Man, I mean, the, the Scarecrow is like the most loved because of the movie Michael Jackson. Mm -hmm. I talk about this all the time. The, the Michael Jackson part is just like, that's the part that everybody loves. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yeah, for sure. I like want to be the favorite one. But then I kind of like found my way up from the Tin Man. I love the Tin Man now. Mm. I, love the Tin Man. I can't even lie to you. Tell the people, what is your background? Like before this show, what, what were some of the things that you had done? Uh, my first thing out of college that I did, I did Hamilton in Chicago. I, uh, I played Hamilton sometimes, and I understood it. Mm -hmm. uh, Mulligan Madison as well, and I was in the ensemble. And then um, I did this TV show that nobody. No, I'm not gonna say that. But it was a very short-lived TV show on Apple TV Plus called Little Voice. Sarah Bareilles and JJ okay. Abrams did this. It was like mm -hmm. it was like supposed to be this big thing, and then like it got cut short. Mm -hmm. I feel like it was due to COVID. Like a lot of things during COVID just didn't really matter. Ugh. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So yeah. I like, canceled in December of 2020, but it came out August. I was supposed to do a few things, but they just kind of got canceled. So those are my two. I've done like movies. I make my own music as well, but mm -hmm. though that's really kind of sort of the two big things that I've done so far. I did this. Oh, I did this movie called Sharper on Apple TV Plus too. Mm -hmm. I played. I'm not gonna tell you too much about it if you ain't seen it yet, because it's a con artist movie and a lot of twists and turns. Oh, okay. I love those type of movies. So you had to tell me so I can add it to my list. It's called Sharper. It's mm -hmm. starring uh, Sebastian Stan, uh, Julian Moore, John Jonathan Lithgow. Mm -hmm. And Justice Smith and Brown Middleton. And so I, you were doing more TV and film than you were theater. I was like kind of where I was. I wanted to go, and then the Wiz though. It's like it's the Wiz. So yeah, like I got it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like I was like, oh, I gotta do this one. Mm -hmm. Like if anything, so because mm -hmm. um, I was kind of like trying to stray away a little bit from theater. I love theater though, but mm -hmm. it's my home. But so where are you from originally? I'm from Charlotte, North Carolina. Okay, and you live where now? I live. I lived before the shop in Charlotte, actually. Oh. Okay. I recently just moved back home at the top of the year. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I know you said you were in Chicago, so I wasn't sure if you were another person that came I from Chicago. I moved Chicago. around so oh, much. Yeah. I've lived in New York, too. You lived in New York, yeah, too? Yeah, I lived in New York. Are yeah. you ready to go back from Broadway and be there for a while? Yes. Um, this touring stuff is hard. It's really it's stuff on the body, on your mind, on your spirit, all that. So mm. I'm ready to like be settled. And how have you been taking care of yourself? Sleep. You don't really go nowhere? No, I go, I go places. Um, But I, I try to get as much sleep as I can. I try to drink a lot of water. Mm -hmm. Got the Gatorade. I don't know if we can have that on the camera, but I got the Gatorade, the water, what, mm -hmm. all that, you know what I'm saying, vitamins. Yeah. yeah, we all have to have our own little regimen. I had this whole regimen when I had to do the Mad Singer, boy. I had all these different things that I was taking that yeah. I was using, and it's like now I done fell off and stopped doing all that. <laughs> but when you are like really doing a show and you have to do eight shows a week, because I remember what I've only done, I did Broadway once. I did off-Broadway before, but oh, really? yeah. Um, but, well, on Broadway, I was a Mama Morton in Chicago. Oh my God! Yeah, amazing. so it was it was my goal to never miss a show. Right. So I was like, okay, I have to make sure that I'm doing everything I got to do to take care of my voice. And right. So that's what I did. You know, had a, uh, 
I'll tell you later. It's like a whole list of things or whatever. But it, it it is tough. And a lot of people don't understand doing the same show every day. Yeah. It's tough. Um, because you got to bring the energy. It's way different than TV or film because, you know, when we shoot, it's like, oh, we get that take again. Right, right. But when you're live in front of an audience. You just go for it. You got to go for it. You got to like every time you have to sort of find the freedom within the structure of the show, Mm -hmm. which is like, it's fun, but it's tough because sometimes as somebody I play a lot, I go a little too far. Mm -hmm. And then like, I have to be like, Hey bro, tone it back, tone it back. Because like it changes the show's intention. It changes everything Mm -hmm. that we do within the show. So, um, yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot to show mm. eight times a week. Yes. What is your favorite part of the show? Be a lion. Be a lion. Oh, I love that part. The arrangement is amazing. Mm-hmm. Uh, everybody and their voices are insane. Mm-hmm. Um, in the moment, just like where it goes story-wise and like how we f- feel like we finally made where we needed to go is just incredible. So mm-hmm. I feel like that's the moment that we all kind of come together and become a group. Yeah, that that it's like for those of you that haven't seen it yet. I mean, I I I don't want to tell you too much, but it definitely really takes the end of the first act and just makes it like it leaves you on a high, right? Because it's just like the you guys' voices, the way it comes together is just like oh my god, like it has everybody on their feet, right? I feel like with you, I love I do love the dancing like Ace, but I also love what. Can I do? Oh my gosh! Yeah. I mean, what is it? Yeah, what tell me. Feel, yeah. yeah, if I can feel. Yeah, yeah. I say I always say the title of the song wrong. I'm sorry, <laughs> y'all. But you know what I'm talking about. So I really love when you do the what? What is the name of the song? What would I do if I could feel? What, what would I do if yeah. I could feel? I absolutely love that song from the movie. And I, for a second, I thought maybe we had took the song out because it's in a different place right. than what you remember it being in the movie. I really feel like that's when we really get to see your voice and right. and see you shine by yourself. I mean, obviously y'all kill it yeah. as a group or whatever, but yeah. do your thing, you yeah. know what I mean? It's and, a cool moment for sure. Yeah, super dope. Musically, mm-hmm. you said you've done some music as well. Like, yeah. so were you doing solo artist thing? Or what oh, you independent think? stuff that I've done on my own. I kind of like, I, I 2019, I started to get like really, really, really serious about it. I wrote music since like 2016 and then 2019, I just went back and forth to Chicago a lot because I have all my uh, engineers and producers are out there. So I'll just go to Chicago mm-hmm. and we would cook. And I'll be in studios at like six in the morning, mm-hmm. wake up, do it again, mm-hmm. go to sleep. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's all rap, sing and all that stuff. But, oh, you rap too? Yeah, yes, man. Oh. Yeah, a little something okay. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that's my that's kind of what I do. And um, yeah, I mean it's it's kind of it, it's it was at first kind of started as like a freedom from this career of like everyone telling you what to do, mm-hmm. and then I started to get really serious about like lyricism and song structure and all these things. Mm-hmm. Um, and I play with the idea that like genre doesn't really exist in my eyes. I think you said what does it? Genre. I think oh, it's a thing that like okay. personally, I think it's a thing that like uh, music execs use for marketing. Okay. In a way, you know what I'm saying? No, like, no, no. I get what you're saying. Well, to I don't me, think it doesn't exist. I think it happens, especially when you are a writer. Sure. Um, yeah. Because I know for me, myself, when people always be like, oh, stay in, you know, what lane do you consider? I'm like, I'm, I can't be in one lane because I like all kind of music and I can write anything. Right. So it's like hard, like, and I know what you're saying because I've, you know, had deals before. I did the whole thing. And yeah. <laughs> and they'd be like, well... Right now, it's easier to get a song going on adult AC. And I'm like, well, I don't really feel adult AC. Like, that's not really who I am. But if that's what you feel that you need to do to work the record or do whatever. Because like you said, labels want to put you in a box. Right. Which I was just about to do the same thing. Because I was about to ask you what type of artist did you think you were. (laughs) Because typically, that's what, you know, you know, immediately. I mean, it makes sense, too. It's not like a it's not like a dig or anything. I, Mm -hmm. I totally understand why people ask. So what type of music, or even if it's not a genre, like how many different genres are you hitting? I mean, I would always say that it's hip hop influence, hip hop and R&B influence always, right? Mm -hmm. But I have songs where I like rap really fast. I have songs where I'm just like kind of speaking about my life. And I just released the EP that I'm like, it it was like a therapy EP for me where I just Mm -hmm. talked about like all the... Can we curse on this? Yes. All the shit that I've been through. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I know you ain't know, alone. But like all the shit that I've been through, you know what I'm saying? Like in the past, and it was kind of like my my kind of write off to me and just kind of speaking about the things that I've seen, the things that I've done, the things that I've seen. You know what I'm saying? But those I would say are like super hip hop influenced. Some are like boom bappy songs, some are like turn up trap songs, some are like, you know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. then the, I released the EP called Different Cities where like there, it goes from like, like boom bap to like R&B to like, um, fusion of the of two to like turn because I'm from 
you know, the South. So yeah. I have like a, a trap song in there, a few trap songs in there. And then like the last song is like, it's called Better. And I'm just like rapping, but over guitars and like mm -hmm. really like down to earth drums and stuff like that. So, and it that it's hard for me because like when I'm trying to promote it, it's mm -hmm. like, I don't know, man. Just like listen to it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And it's hard for people to like want to listen to something that they don't really know how to put in a box. So Right. Okay. So you could dance your ass off. Right. <laughs> So my other question would be like, when you perform, do you dance too? Oh, yeah. oh okay, you do dance. Yeah. Okay, because I'm like, well, is it one of those? You know how like right now Andre 3000 is like, I don't want to rap anymore. I'm gonna be going <laughs> flutes. So I was like, are you one of the ones who got the talent to do this, but you don't do it? With this? You know, it's funny. My homie's always like, he was my, my homie Jamal always says like, bro, you need to dance in your videos, and I'm like, man, that shit corny, bro. Ah! Do that like. I don't know, fucking Backstreet Boys, I'm not with that shit, B. And he's like, nah, bro, like, it, you have to show that off. So, like, I'll do, like, because I have, like, a, a song to call Two Drinks Shawty Out. That's, like, kind of, like, the, the house thing, the thing that's, like, popular right now. Like, when I'm performing on stage, I always do, like, a little hip joint, and everybody's like, ah, but I only give them, like, a little bit of it, you know what I'm saying? Just a little bit, because, like... Teasing the people. Just a little bit. Because <laughs> also being independent is hard, because you got to, like, do everything on your own. So, like, if I had to... Get the band together. Get the. I had to organize the event. I had yeah. to make sure everybody cool. Sound check is cool. Right. So it's like it's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot, but it's cool though. I love it. Do you have a YouTube? Where can people listen? Sheesh. Uh, right. Feels good music. P H I O S. Good music. That's my Instagram handle. I've made it everything, so it's super CEO friendly. Mm. Uh, SEO friendly. I mean, excuse me. Um, yeah, feels good music is everywhere. What was the name of the EP though? The one that I just released. Mm -hmm. It's called I D E K dot wave. I D E K dot wave. And what does that stand for? I don't even know. What? <laughs> ah, yeah, it's. You know what I'm saying? Oh, wait. Like, oh, I don't even know. I don't even know. Oh, I'm not yeah, you, don't, you don't even know what it's there. No, 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 no. no. It's like, it's just like, I don't even know that way. No, I was a little slow right now. <laughs> like, okay. Yeah. Okay, I got it. <laughs> like, I, he like, okay. I don't even. Oh, it took me a long, it took it's me okay, a second. Look, it's okay. It's I was okay. late catching up. No, okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, I just released that one on the fly. You know, I was like, oh, let me just put it out because. You know, people say, like, don't hold in your music. Just, like, release stuff to the public. Why not? Right. My, you know what that's what my husband told me. He's like, you need to drop a song every quarter. Like, he was like, why not? You got a song coming out? Uh, I dropped one not that long ago. And um, I just got a gang of songs. Cause the, no, gotta keep, I guess you keep dropping them? I guess so. I why guess. not? Yeah, why not? Like, you know what right? What you going to lose from it? True, nothing. Nothing. Cause it, it don't, I mean, I got, it don't cost me nothing to do it. I got right. my own studio. Right, right. Do it on your own. <laughs> release it. Boom. I guess that's a good point. You said, oh, you told us how you got to, you know, be a part of the show mm -hmm. with the audition. You told us your favorite part of the show. Mm -hmm. You told me what role you would play. Mm -hmm. Have you ever forgotten a line on stage? Man, the other day, I'm on stage. I know that uh, 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 you're not the only one that's something about your family. I sat there for a smooth three to five seconds. And on stage, three to five seconds is forever. Yeah, a long time. I'm sitting there like, I even look over at me and I'm like, oh, uh, 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 and it took me a minute to get to it, but like, that's, I feel like in this show specifically, that's like the, the one that I had so far. I don't really have, cause I try to like stay on top of it cause I'm so scared of forgetting the line. Uh -huh. That shit like really bothers me cause I'm like, what do I do? Like I would, I feel like right. I would just shit my pants for real. So I'm like, I don't really know what I would do. Mm -hmm. So I, I try to stay on top of it. But that was a moment I had like last week where, where we were, I don't even know where we were. Charlotte. <laughs> Probably Charlotte. Yeah, and it was at, I was at home. I was in my hometown. Sitting there like, Not in your hometown. In my hometown. It was crazy. Okay. So hometown, what'd your family say? They look. My mom was crying the whole time. Oh, that mama crying. My mom was crying. My sisters was crying. I have three little sisters. They are 13, 11, and uh, 9. Oh. And they uh, they love, they saw the show. And they, they don't really get to see me perform that often because, mm -hmm. you know, they have their own stuff going on, their dancers and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Um, and they were like, oh my God, like I get to, they were like, they came to open a night. They met Deborah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They were so like, oh my God. And I'm forgetting, you know what I mean? What I do is kind of cool. So they like, and the Wiz is a big staple in our family too. Right. So it's like, it's so cool. It was really cool. They cried the whole time. My grandma saw the show like four or five times too. So ah, oh, his grandmama was up in there. <laughs> grandma sees grandma sees everything I do. Shouts out to grandma. I love her. She does. She sees everything I do. She's probably calling me right now. Keep it being with you. When's how old are you? We ain't got to talk about it. When's your birthday? August seventeenth. August seventeenth. That makes you a Leo. Yes. What's your birthday? I'm May seventeenth. 
Taurus. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Headstrong. Uh, everybody wants to You get what you want, right? Yeah, yeah, but Leos are the same. Nuh uh. We've had more Leo presidents than any other sign. But yeah, y'all look strong, but so are our Tauruses. <laughs> very, very true. I've had, I've had my runners with Tauruses. Not your runners. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. This one girl, she's like, she used to do the shh all the time. And that's one of my biggest pet peeves. Don't shh me. <laughs> and she did it one time, and I said, shh you! And I stood up, and everybody started clapping. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, yeah, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. What college did you go to? I went to uh, uh, CCM, Cincinnati Conservatory of Music. I went from musical theater. We went to, oh, you went, this is, so this is what you were born to do. Sort of, yeah. I didn't really get into it until I was in like, like for real, for real, until I was in high school. And uh -huh. I was like, oh, I gotta go for it. I gotta do it. If I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. And that's what I realized. I kind of have an obsessive personality about things, mm -hmm. which I feel like a lot of artists have that thing. Yeah. Where if you're gonna do it, it's like, all right, I'm gonna do it at the, I'm sure you have it, like, I'm gonna do it at the best of my ability. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna win. Right. I'm not gonna be weak with it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my shit. You know and speaking saying? of, we're winning right now. Yeah, we are winning. Killing it. I'm Selling out in yeah. every city. For real. All the tickets are gone if you wait to the last minute. So don't right. do that. Go right. and get your tickets now. Even Broadway is not even starting until um, end of March. Right. And the first day the tickets went on sale last week, ticket sales went crazy. So we out here. We, we, we out really here. Out we out here for real. Right People are giving you rave reviews. You guys are doing an amazing job. Yeah. Did you have any fears coming into this? I mean, this is such a big legacy. The Wiz, the name in itself, like I would tell people, like I was working at like a regular restaurant like a few months ago and I was like, oh yeah, I'm doing The Wiz. And they're like, oh, The Wiz. I was like, yeah, it's going to Broadway. It's going on tour. It's going to Broadway. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, and they were like, "Oh, that's like a really big deal." And I was like, "And I, because I try to, you know, play everything down so I don't, so I don't get nervous." But mm -hmm. when I started to talk to people about it and realize how excited they are about the show, mm -hmm. it started to like really dawn on me, like, "Oh my God, this is a big deal!" And like, people are like coming to see this. So I think mm -hmm. the idea of like I'm stepping into the shoes of like all these, like you know, these black artists, like with Nipsey Russell, Tiger Haynes, mm -hmm. uh, Joshua Henry from the City Center, you know what I'm saying? Like, this could be like my big break, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Um, so that I think is a little bit nerve wracking, but then once I kind of like got into it and just started doing it, it was like, oh, I'm here. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you for sitting and talking with me. Absolutely, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. And thank you for watching. That's me going in. <laughs> <laughs> He try to play with us, y'all. He can sing way better than that. He be killing it every day on this show. Come see us. Try it if you want. I hope you can. I hope you can. See you soon.